Welcome back to Georgina Life. Uh, what an awesome show. What a really super fun show. I'm so happy that it started off with uh, something that you put in your mouth and you eat. And I'm happy that it is ending off with something that you put in your mouth <laughs> and eat. It makes for a really great day. Great show. Hey, if your 2017 uh, includes a whole bunch of different resolutions, um, some not limited to, uh, you know, like cleaning your ears out with a key, um, it, but it includes, you guys could have laughed at that. I mean, that was a <laughs> Shocked. Thanks, I was shocked thanks, too. Guys. Thank you. Uh, um, but it includes uh, proper nutrition. Uh, who better to ask than a registered, you know, dietitian, someone who knows what nutrition is? And of course, that is. This threw me off there. I was like, was she going to hit me? No, <laughs> no. this is going the other way. Ingrid Fan, ladies and gentlemen. Ingrid Fan. Ingrid, thank you very much for coming on today. It's always a pleasure. Oh, thank you for having me. Now, um, you know something about proper nutrition. I know this. Um, can you walk us through uh, what we might need to know or uh, Georgina in general needs to know about uh, the proper calories and placement of your food? Absolutely. So for a lot of, um, you know, for a lot of people, 2017 is, you know, time for New Year resolutions. And for some people, they do say that at least 85%, um, their number one resolution is to lose weight. Okay. So a lot of people, that's their goal, but they don't really know where to start. And so to give you a context, I brought a lot of food here today to show you um, kind of portion sizes that you should be a little bit more aware about for your meals. And so for an average Canadian woman, you're supposed to eat about 1,500 calories a day, and for an average male, it's about, uh, yes, <laughs> average male is about 1,800 calories a day. Wow. So a lot of people are like, okay, I know my numbers, but what do those mean in terms of for a meal? So today over on that side, I brought um, three different plates for you, okay, just to show you an idea of what a meal generally should look like. So on the very, very far right-hand side, we have spaghetti, okay, and some veggies. So most people, okay, their plates look something along that line. Agreed. Um, and it is, you know, majority of it is um, very carb-heavy, very full of pasta, and not a lot of vegetables. So that plate is about two and a half cups of uh, spaghetti, okay, a little bit more than one person should have, and not enough veggies. And it's about 500 calories or so, and about 350 of it, um, or 400 of it, um, is just the pasta itself. I think, too, as much as that's maybe appropriate for what people eat mm -hmm. you've added a little bit of tuna to the sauce a lot of people would add ground, ground beef, beef. Mm -hmm. yeah. and parmesan mm -hmm. and 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 so other things so on it's top quite a bit more Turkey. yeah right? definitely yeah. so this one here yep and we have one. a little bit of a more of a balanced I, uh, balanced plate here. So at least half of your plate should be full of vegetables. And we have one cup of uh, pasta there instead of two and a half cups. So that's about 220 calories. And then you do have some meat. So that meat over there is about 1.5 ounce, okay? Mm -hmm. So usually I say use the size of your palm, okay, as a measurement. Now, if you take that piece of meat and look at Jordan's palm, it's a little bit different. <laughs> um, but um, keep in mind that on top of the pasta, I do have some tuna in there that's also 1.5 ounce right. so it measures out to be three ounces so that's oh, okay. how much meat you should have right. and so a lot of times you can have two of those small um patties or you can have you know what i have on that plate so this plate is about 400 calories in total okay a little bit more balanced meal and then the third one we have a different sort of protein i put a little bit of omega-3 fatty acids have some salmon there you should have fish at least twice a week mm -hmm. definitely um, mixed plate of vegetables at least half of your plate should be of that and then i have a uh, half a cup of spaghetti but i've also have half a cup of spaghetti squash. Yeah, this guy so right here. this is an excellent way for you to cut down on the carbohydrates, but still keep yourself full and fill it up with a little bit more fiber content in there. So that's kind of generally what a balanced meal would look like, and that's about 500 calories. So if you're oh. comparing this plate to the one previously, the first one, it's pretty much the same amount of calories, but you're cutting down on the carbohydrates and bulking up on the fiber and bulking up on um, all the fruits and veggies that you should be having in your day. And it's funny, when people start to look at a balanced meal, Mm -hmm. suddenly they're perhaps eating more than they used to. Yeah, and so one of those things um, as a tip is to just watch how big your plate is. So definitely our plate size has grown about 30 to 40 percent over the past 50 years. So if you're filling up your entire plate, a lot of times you're actually eating additional 100 to 200 calories per time. So that's definitely something for you to keep in mind. Now speaking of um, other than meals, a lot of people have asked me, well Ingrid, I I need some healthy snack ideas. Right. 
give me some ideas. And a lot of times, a lot of people don't know that snacks are supposed to be 100 to 200 calories about. Wow. A lot of times, you do exceed that if you're, especially if you're, you know, into nuts and seeds and you're eating some munchies, okay? Like you're bags of chips? Right. Chips, you're gonna exceed so that 200 more. calories. So to give you some idea of what that 200 calorie is, okay? So we have an apple here, and so most people have just an apple, but I do encourage you to try and have at least some protein. So what does that protein mean? Maybe having some baby bell cheese along with maybe half an apple. Okay, we also have these, so I don't know if you've ever seen them before, but they're called hemp heart bites, okay? okay? Great source of protein, also great source of omega-3 um, fatty acids because they're made of hemp seeds. These, uh, about eight of them are about 200 calories. Eight of them? Eight mm -hmm. of them, wow. yeah. Another thing that you can have is maybe some tuna and some avocado, okay? So we have some tuna and avocado here, maybe some crackers, okay? So this combination, high fiber cracker, is about 200 calories, okay? Or if you like, you can stick with your crackers and just add a baby bell cheese alongside with it. So that's oh, okay. also considered a healthy snack option. You can also do one glass of soy milk or one glass of milk with a small piece of fruit. That's also about 150 calories or so. Now we're getting really, like the, the site, we're getting really uh, a couple minutes left in the segment and we mm -hmm. wanted to make a Buddha bowl. Can we, can you start making the Buddha bowl, throwing in and telling us what a Buddha bowl is? Yeah, so a Buddha bowl is a, a hearty filled, um, very, very rich meal essentially. So there's a couple of ingredients for you to keep in mind, okay? So today we're doing a Mexican taco Buddha bowl. And those ingredients of course are right there on the screen. Yep. And so you have quinoa, we have some beans, we have some spinach, we do have some raw veggies that we want you to add as well. It's very simple because all you have to do is just blend it all together. You can add whatever it is that you want. So I'm gonna actually have you um, put a Buddha bowl together. So we have already have some quinoa on here. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the base, um, which is the quinoa, so it's gluten free. Yes. We're gonna add some raw veggies, okay? So we're just okay. gonna dump all of that. So we have some tomatoes, we have some um, um, carrot, so it's starting to look really, really colorful, okay? Oh. Another thing we're gonna add is some spinach, okay? So mm -hmm. these are your cooked spinach. So you see you want to do have some rainbow in terms of this taco salad that we have. It's colorful. Yeah, Amazing. another thing we're gonna have you do is maybe add some mango, okay? So you okay. can do that. Go nuts, Chad. Go nuts. Can I use that? Yeah, okay. go ahead. And then Jordan's, because oh, yeah. there's nothing like a Mexican Buddha bowl without some salsa. So we'll have you open that one and we'll just have you dump that in. Oh, yes. Amazing. Salsa. Yeah. Some salsa in there. How much salsa? Not Put all. Put as of much it. as you want. Oh, okay. Okay, there perfect. And then we're gonna add a little bit of protein on there. So we're gonna have some beans, okay? So nothing like some black beans on there. So this is the PC mm -hmm. Blue menu, low sodium one, very Smells high in fiber. In yep. And then we're gonna add some guacamole. Okay? Yummy. So we'll have you add that in there. Okay. Now guacamole, um, there's a lot of people like avocados mm -hmm. and guacamole. Yeah. Why? Why? I love it. It's a great source of um, healthy fat, but do keep in mind that it's still fat, so you do want at least <laughs> just half an avocado, not the whole thing. And then we're obviously going to put a little bit of cheese on there. Talking okay. about language ingredients. And then we're going to put a little bit of this tortilla strips. Maybe you said, you've seen that in there. You said chips. Yeah, so yeah. strips. Okay, so just a little bit as a topping, okay. Perfect, and then Jordan, right. lastly, we'll have you put the um, avocado um, oil that I used a little bit, and then some lime juice, okay. and then some salt and pepper, and we're gonna douse that nicely on top. I thought you were gonna get me to drink it like this from, from matcha. <laughs> Doused it all. Look at that. Exactly. So you can mix it all together. Um, not necessarily, not, not necessary because you can just eat it as. Right. But generally, if you take a look at this bowl, this is a very, very hearty bowl. So very similar to what a Buddha stomach looks like. I guess you would say that. So that's where the Buddha bowl comes from. You want it to be a very hearty filling. But if you notice, we do have a lot of veggies in here, mm -hmm. raw and cooked. Okay. So that's the main focus, similar to having half of your plate full of veggies. Okay. And then you're just having some protein, some cheese, some beans for high fiber, and then you have your team at the bottom as a base. Amazing, and a huge meal yeah. as well. Holy smokes. Yummy. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for coming on. Uh, we're good, definitely gonna eat that after the break, so uh, stick around. We're gonna do a little bit more of the show.